Kia ora, welcome to uh, the Invisible Sensei podcast. So I thought <laughs> all the kids are doing this newfangled Instagram thing, so I thought I would give it more of a try by doing a live anyway. Um, if you are on this Instagram page, pardon the interruption, you will note that um, I use it mainly to post my uh, Invisible Sensei uh, podcast tags. And um, a couple of days ago, I tried something a little bit different, which I'm going to kind of proceed with. I'm going to be doing a uh, series of 10, in Māori I guess you call them whakatauaki, and, but what, what it basically is, is when I do the podcast every now and then, for some reason, I seem to have a drop of sanity and have these sayings, which I'm kind of, yeah, I'm kind of proud of. So... I see that it's a thing on the internet that we, and, and particularly in the martial arts community, and just in general, where we post our favourite sayings. So I thought what I would do is I'm going to back myself a little bit and I'm going to post 10 of my own, what, what would you call them? 10 of my own sayings, 10 of my own little drops of knowledge. And the one that I posted the other day was karate is not about combat. And I want to change that and say martial arts. It's not about combat, it's about understanding the self. The more we know about who we are, the less we need to seek the truth of ourselves from those who pretend to know. And I've gotten some interesting feedback about putting that up there, which is always cool and it always flatters me that people even watch or look at anything that I put out there. But that was not a post that was designed for a particular person. Rather, it was about, I guess, my own journey in terms of martial arts. For a lot of my life, I spent looking for, I guess, sort of a bit of a father figure, and I was looking for people to give me the truth of my life and the truth of my existence and who I am and what manhood is and what it is. And as is always the case in those sort of situations, if you look, you'll find, and unfortunately, a lot of the people that I found were not people that I probably should have looked up to as role models. So. For me, with martial arts, I'm getting away from this whole thing about combat because, to be totally honest, I've worked in positions and worked in jobs where I've been in quite dangerous physical situations. Um, and now I live in a lovely suburb in Wellington, New Zealand. So, touch wood, I'm not getting into many fights anymore. So I'm looking at martial arts for myself is more of a lifestyle thing. My dream has always been to travel, train, meet people, because that's one of the coolest things about martial arts. Um, you get on a mat with someone and you sweat and you grapple, or you get kicked the punch or push-ups or whatever it is. You kind of go away and you have, in some cases, bonds that last forever. So when I talk about karate, it's not about combat. I'm not saying that it's not about well, martial arts is not about combat. Of course, there's a combative aspect to it. That's what draws us to it. Um, it's about understanding the. It's about understanding the self. Understanding the self is about who we are, where we're from, what our boundaries are, what our limits are, and hopefully being able to push past our limits. Um, the more we, and then it goes. The more we know about who we are. I don't mean to read it. Um, the more we know about who we are, the less we need to seek the truth of ourselves from those who pretend to know. I think when you search for knowledge, especially knowledge of ourselves, and you look to other people to answer, to give you external answers to internal questions, and you don't trust your own knowing and your own self, you can, a lot of times, line yourself up for really... Um, really shitty knowledge. I think people will fill that gap um, with their own ego, with their own thoughts and all those kind of things and their feelings about the world and I know that certainly was the case for me. Um, so I guess let's read it again and yes as I say I am having to read it. Karate is about not about combat, it's about understanding the self. The more we know about who we are, the less we need to seek the truth of ourselves from those who pretend to know. So I guess what I'm saying is and then and saying it to myself is sometimes the, the biggest questions I have to ask are the questions I have to ask myself and with the help of friends and with the help of people I trust I hopefully can find some answers that will help me on my way they're not the answers they're a answer and they maybe just they just apply to me so that's